Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 3. Today, we're going to do some dungeon crawling, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and get Wizard Eye cooking, and I think we are going to tackle this dungeon that's out to the east, which is, I believe, the Slither Cult Stronghold. Um, before we do that, though, I do want to grab us buffs, because I believe this is a kind of trap-heavy dungeon. I guess most of the dungeons in this are kind of trap-heavy, but this one in particular... Drop 500 gems in my mouth and you will be rewarded tenfold. Nope! That's- I mean, he's not lying, but he's not saying you're going to be rewarded tenfold in what? If you give that thing 500 gems, it will give you 5,000 gold. We do not care that much about gold. At least not yet. Alright, so we have room and death trap. Stay sharp in the Slither Cult stronghold for safety is scarce. Alright. Seriously, guys. Guys, thank you. Alright, so we got snake women and killer candles. Uh, lightning bolt. Okay, they throw fire at us. Good to know. Uh, we will go ahead and protection from elements us against the fire. Let me go ahead and nature's cure yourself there, Devon. Oh, and these things sleep, people. That's dangerous. Alright, yeah, like, almost our entire party is asleep right now, thankfully. I think pretty much everyone that can cast spells can cast Awaken. Except for Swell. Yeah, alright, so everybody except Swell... ...that can throw magic will be able to help us against those. And these things, hopefully our fire resistance will kind of... ...keep us standing against these guys. I would rather not be, like, pitching lightning bolts every fight, because I'm gonna chew through mana so quickly. And I guess Devon, with Nature's Cure, can top people off. Because he's got, like, a shitload of mana and really nothing to spend it on. Nature's Cure is a better heal than Cure Wounds, but I don't believe it scales with you. Fucking Rove. <laughs> Doing what Rove does. Napping mid-battle. And get him back on his feet. And I guess... Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll start pitching lightning bolts then. If they want to be shits, we'll, we will introduce them to electric death. Unless there's only one, in which case it's just not worth the mana. More of them? Of course. Thankfully, Rove at this point has enough health that he can stand walking through those uh, guillotines without immediately eating street. So, I don't have to worry about constantly resurrecting his ass. At this point, it's mostly a pain in the ass to keep him alive because we have to go back to town. Once we have access to resurrection magic, it will be much less of a problem. Uh, but we are not quite there yet. Only the strong of spirit should proceed down the serpent's tail. Alright, well... The Mummy King lies hidden in the Fortress of Fear. Solve the combination to discover his tomb. You guys... Oh, here we go, here we go. Get all... There, that's what I want to see. A group of these suckers all clumped up and ready to be AoE'd. And they drop gems, which is... As far as I'm concerned, just icing on the candle cake. Alright. So, like, it's it, they're paying to be killed, essentially. Like, they're covering the costs to, to nuke them down. I'm actually gonna save before we do this. If it's locked, there's probably something horrible in here. Come on, guys. Guys. Alright. A yellow spring surges with life. Wade in and search? No. What is this? A metal lockbox. Try to open it. Yes. Eh? Unable to pick it. We'll keep trying. There we go. 5,000 gold. I will take it. That is mountaineering for somebody. Alright, let's see what horror this bestows. Yeah. I think yellow... If, assuming that they're going by the colors for attributes. Uh, I believe yellow's accuracy? Brunhilde? Became a more advanced adventurer. What does that mean? Oh! She just gained a shitload of XP. 
She just gained, I think, 30,000 experience points for that. And <laughs> she's still not ready to level. Oh, that is funny. Oh, maybe not. I actually think she might have gained levels from that. Yeah, I think she actually got two levels from that. Holy hell. Can other people wade? Nothing in the pool. Alright, alright. Well, hell, I'm actually... I'm happy that I gave that to Brynhilda because it's going to make her much more lethal. Uh, knights basically scale... kind of explosively, I guess you could say. Um, their damage output is based on the number of swings that they have, and the higher level you are, the more swings you get, so levels are really good for her. Um, a little bit less so for Swell. Chunk, I don't know if he's ever going to truly be like a great melee fighter, but we'll see. But she should be, assuming she picked up any extra swings off of that, she should be a little bit nastier now. Yeah, see, Swell's only got two attacks around. Chunk's only got two attacks, and everybody else is probably at... Oh, wow, Devon's actually got two. Wow, seriously? Even these guys have two attacks around. Huh. Alright. Oh, that, that hallway is going to be death if we go down it right now. So basically what I want to do here is we're going to just kind of push in as far as I... As far as I feel we can safely do so, we might have just bit off more than we can chew. Uh, let's see... Is Sparks an AoE? Yes, it is. Alright. Devon, you are out of mana and have become the most useless member of our party. Yes, that includes Rove, who is currently having a nice nap in the background. Alright, so long as these things don't sleep us, I was going to say, we'll be okay. So we're going to sleep. We'll get light going. I'm going to save. Oh, yeah. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Less than ideal. These things have got some magic resistance on them, that, that is for sure. They're not dangerous, I think the candles are actually... like a larger threat than they are. Saffron sparkles stream across the well, alright. Um, this might kill Rove. I'm gonna have him wade, yeah. Oh, Sacred Silver Skull. Did he level? Probably not, no. No, but he did. Alright. Crack this. Oh, come on now. Oh, and Chunk's unconscious. We'll just nap. Do it in the dark. Hey, there we go. Little gold and some miscellaneous loot. Okay, well, we don't have... Oh, oh, what was that? Seek the wise men near the Valley of Trolls. Okay. Well, we want to get out of here. Okay, no, and we want to go this way. Get us back to town. And and Rez the doofus in back who has decided that he wants to take the long nap instead of actually contributing to our party in any meaningful fashion. The bastard. Alright, we actually, we've, we've made some decent money, I suppose. I don't think anybody's, well, no, I take that back. People might actually be ready to level. I seem to recall that, uh... I'd like probably Brunhilda and Devon and them, yeah. But she has learned all that they can teach. Oh no, no. Okay, so this place probably caps out at level 10 then. If they can't teach her, but they can teach Chunk. Alright, fair enough. Uh, in that case, I suppose the bank is still open. Oh, of course not. Why would the bank be open? Banks are never open. Let's just go ahead and deposit our gold. Throw 5,000 in there. Do I have gems? I do have gems. Here, let's deposit those as well. Uh, we'll throw 750 in. We're not at the point where we're expending them like shitloads at a time. We're still only expending like one or two. So I don't really feel the need to be carrying around uh, crap loads of the things. Before we head out, let's see what kind of goodies we've got here. Whistle of Pain is tentatively useful. Uh, Silver Skull we will eventually turn in. Uh, and that looks like about it. Freaking Leather Short Sword. Just get rid of that thing. It's probably worth like two gold pieces or something. Freaking ridiculous. 
Uh, okay, out we go. We'll hit the wells. The wells of, of blessed, blessed survivability. Okay, and then it's through here. Do not want to do that. Into the dungeon. Okay, nice and straightforward. Get light going. Get mage's eye going. I could jump across this. But I don't care that much. Uh, so let's see. Is there anything? Nothing in any of these. We've already been trolled by that one. Alright. Oh, what do we have up here? Come on. Saffron again. Alright, so this time we will have, uh, so I'll do it. A Kwatlu coin, two Kwatlu coins, three Kwatlu coins, four, five, holy shit. Like, almost half a dozen of the dang things. We still don't know what these are for yet. I think we've got, what, like seven now? Five, yeah. Alright, sure. Who knows? I'm sure it will be important at some point. Alright, so this time... We're gonna jump to avoid some damage. Come on, guys. My front row's inability to kick doors open is mildly disconcerting. I'm gonna ready Lightning Bolt, but we're not going to cast it against one of these things. This is much more... oh, maybe not. And Sparks, sure. We got AoE in the back row, I'll take it. Not Chunk. Chunk does not have AoE. Chunk will never have AoE unless he's, like, using a magic item of some sort. Oh, who are you? An evil ranger. What's up? Um, let's go ahead and... Make Cure Wounds on Rove. I, I still- I love it! The shitty fucking Cure Wounds spell tops him off. That blows my mind. Lightning Bolt this asshole. Get Devon back on his feet. Uh, Devon really can't do... Well, no, Devon can cast Lightning Bolt as well. All right. Well, he got one off. That was apparently all we needed. And now he can just fulfill his heal botting duties. Topping everybody off. Damn, Chunk. You got some hit points on you, bro. All right. Another one of these. Chunk, get on that. Come on now. Chunk. Chunk! One job, man. One job. So help me Christ. There we go. A dagger, a great axe, and some gauntlets. Anything worth anything? A wooden great axe! Oh! This game! Come on, now. Still giving me, like, the dumpster tier stuff. This crystal dagger is probably pretty good. Uh, I don't know who I would give it to, but it's probably at least decent. A yellow spring. Okay, so this is this is one of the level ones. We're gonna give this one to Rove. He is more res resistant to the safe aura of poison. Ah, not what I wanted. And right, we'll give this one to Swell. Resistant to the safe aura of poison. All right, what's that doing for him? Maybe 30 poison resistance. Sure, that's not too bad. I'll take it. Up. Oh. Who are these things in here? First try, even! Well, we just got, um, Rove Resurrection money out of it, so that counts for something. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, well this branch is done. We're done with this one, so the only way left is forward. Uh, and that makes me worry mildly. Actually, well, my mind is on it. No, we're gonna pop down to... Uh, Baywatch really quickly. I want to see if they have any new spells available for our casters. That is not Baywatch, that is a hut in the woods, Gene. Come on, get the program. Alright, yeah, yeah, heal his stupid ass, okay. And I was just gonna say, the, the fucking guild will be open, but then of course the day has to roll over. Alright. You guys got anything interesting? Revitalize. That cure's weaken, yeah. Uh, and sleep. 
And you have nothing that matters. No. I'm gonna grab Awaken on Swell. Uh... Grab Protection from Elements as well. I could use him for buffing, but at 2,000 gold, holy shit. Uh, I'm gonna grab him Holy Bonus. Why not? He's gotta use his spell points for something, because as it stands, he casts Light for one spell point, and then he's sitting on like a hundred, and not doing shit with him. Lazy bum. Uh, and we wanna go home. Once more, back to Fountainhead. And we will do the usual run. Health Fountain, Mana Hut, Dungeon. I Deloitte's beacon us in there, but the one that keeps dying is fucking Rove, and he's our Lloyd's beacon guy. That's the other downside to not having an archer in our party, is that we have no reliable, like, secondary transport on the the, the guarantee of dipshit McFuckbutt in the back getting murdered. There. The people that matter now have extra damage. And we're we're gonna go ahead and save here. All right, let's, let's see what what horrors await us down this way. Say the missing brother sent you. Okay. Hello, Cobra fiends. We are going to go ahead and open this with lightning bolts as are appropriate. I would spark, but also fucking rove. Sparks are now. Oh, big damage left from Brunhilde there. Always good to see. Wow, she just fucking one shot. God damn it, Rove. God fucking damn it. One job. One job. Chunk. Thank you. Oh, and we have an evil ranger in here. Uh, we are going to lightning bolt and eat some fire damage. That ranger does so much damage. Holy crap. And, like, nobody can hit him either, which is less than ideal. Okay, let's worry about the ads. Really quick. Uh... Nah, just keep throwing Cure Wounds. Uh-oh. This is up to the front row. As long as they don't both get slept, these two are gonna be fine. Oh, man. Fucking Brunhilda, eyes going both directions. She has had enough of this shit. All right, what else is in here? Is that, oh, that's a pack of evil rangers. That's why I saved. Woo! All right, once more. Oh, freaking trap on the way out gets us. That's okay. That's okay. That means we can just rest and then probably push back in again. Losing Rove fucking sucks, mostly because it annoys me, but also because, damn it, Rove. Alright, get light going, get protection from elements, fire, take a step forward. It seems that these guys really hate Devon, which makes sense because they're rangers and he's a druid. Mm, apologies for airport noises in the background, recording during the day, etc, etc, you guys know how it is. Jesus fucking Christ, this plane is, like, landing on my fucking house. Uh, I just lightning bolt the guy. Alright, there are two left. Uh, let's go ahead and heal Chunk. Come on, melees. You need to hit here, guys. You, like, you really, really need to fucking hit. Brunhilda's trying. Brunhilda's trying, but she cannot carry. She cannot carry against that level of bullshit. Ugh. We're, we're going to have to, I think, run back to town again. Uh, before we can finish this. Sadly. The, the monotony of early game Might and Magic. It's like, you lose a character and, well, gotta go back to town. Mildly terrible. Oh, hey, random wild fungus. No. Uh, it's so bad. No, not freaking Castle White Shield. 
Fountainhead to resurrect our tra resident trash fire here. All right, Rove, this is the last one your stupid ass gets. Okay, do I want to do anything before we go? No, we're good. I can hit the Fountain of Defense. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. We are going to... I'm going to set a Lloyd's Beacon. We're not going to put it in the dungeon, though. I'm actually going to just plop it down right next to the town's and Or not the, the town's entrances. The dungeon's entrance. So that I don't have to keep running fucking back here again and again. We'll only have to do the trip once. Good old Lloyd's Beacon. Alright. This should be relatively painless. Famous last words, but with two uh, two lightning bolt throwers in the party, both of which who have a shitload of spell points, I think we'll be okay. Get the front row all buffed. I'll even throw it on Devon. On the off chance he's actually capable of doing something worthwhile. Doubtful though it seems. Okay. God damn those dudes do a lot of damage. And yeah, they just... I'm actually I think gonna just leave Devon unconscious for this. Because he, healing him is just going to be a wasted action, because they're all just going to priority target him anyways. Whereas at least with this, it spreads it out among the party a little bit, even if it is on, like, the back row. Alright, Gold Leaf, just heal yourself. A fucking rove! Oh my lord. I swear. Is there anything else in here? No. We do have a fountain, though. Oh my god. As I get all turned around. Uh, go ahead, swell. An ancient Fizbin of misfortune. Okay. I think this is cursed. Maybe. I don't remember what it does, though. But I seem to recall having it was something you didn't want. So we're naturally going to save. Uh, and continue to poke around here. I'm gonna just pop this open. 50,000 gold! Alright, well... Uh, sure. That works fine by me. We do have one more way to go, but again, we have to run back to town and resurrect Stinky in the back row. <sighs> like I said, though, thankfully we only have to do this run uh, once. I'm probably not going to bother hitting the mana. We'll hit the... Eh, eh we, may, we probably don't need to hit anything, honestly. Like, as much as I enjoy having the free hit points and stuff, like, we're not a weak party. We're we're held back by Rove's frailty more so than anything. Oh my god, let me donate my money, you fucks. Okay, deposit gold. Just throw all of that in there, because if you deposit money, you're making money. I'm sure there's some rule in accounting about that somewhere, but... I'm not too worried about it here. Uh, let's see, Lloyd's Beacon, return. And this is why Lloyd's Beacon is awesome. Okay, now, Wizard Eye. And jump. Ow. I jump over the first one and then run into the second one. Thankfully, Babby Tear Cure Wounds is enough to get Rove topped up. Okay, uh, we'll just energy blast these guys. I don't think they're worth AoE. Stop and answer who sent you. I think it was Gamma? No. Delta. Omega? Wait. The missing brother? Hmm. Not worried right now. Alright, game. You wanna play? I have lightning bolts. Devon even has enough mana to cast it a couple times when he's not eating the pavement. Uh, I'm not going to bother lightning bolting one of these stupid things. This, however, is... No, not energy blast, you fool! That was perfect lightning bolt bait. God damn it. Do I have... Let's get protection from elements. Now that the fight is essentially over, let's cast protection from elements. That's right, Rove, you just sleep where you're safe. Devon just heals himself, the selfish bastard. Okay, and these we should be able to just melee down. There we 
go. I have no idea what our arrows are colliding with, but okay. Alright. This. 10,000 gold, not bad. And another pool. Saffron sparkles. Go at it, swell. A skull. Okay. Oh, I never uh, got the, the, the notes on this place. Guillotines mark the path to riches in the Slither Cult stronghold, where cobra fiends rule the halls. There is said to be a secret room where those strong enough to venture can test their luck and gain favor from the mysterious altars that eat Quatlus. Alright, well, we still haven't found those yet, so that's a thing. And that thing won't let us past it, because apparently the missing brothers is not the correct answer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to nap, run straight south. One more, we're going to rest again. Yeah. And then we're going to get out of here. Whew! High action gameplay. And I think on that note, I am going to go ahead and save, and we're going to go ahead and call it here. And we will pick up next time. Uh, I don't know if we know the missing brother yet. So, we're probably done here for now. So, more dungeons. I think we have... There's another one south of Baywatch, I think. We'll check. Regardless, that is then. So, until next time, take it easy, and I will see you all around.